Take that, Night Prowler. Hey everyone, it's Gone Turbo back. And we're going to finish up, hopefully, Gloom Reach Cave. Gloom Reach is a small little cave on the side of the road on the way to Markarth. Just a little stop on the way. It actually is, it's on the left. I have um, a couple of mods here to talk about. Better Combat AI basically gives the um, enemies and NPCs a little bit smarter. A little bit smarter when it comes to uh, um, fighting, as you can see. With this crew here, these two masters, they. Um, will kind of block very well. They'll kind of dance around and parry and... Some of the perks that I use, or that I activate, is uh, archery and block. And one-handed. I'm not much of a magic guy. So much of a magic guy. Take that, Night Prowler. Nice. So another mod that I wanted to share, as you may have noticed, speaking of archery, is the Elven Longbow. So this is from the Lord of the Rings weapons pack mod. And, uh, I plan to do a separate video on this mod. It looks really cool. I, I crafted the longbow. It's Legolas's longbow. You can craft his two little daggers. You can craft, craft Narsil, Glamdring, which is my favorite, Sting, and the Witch King blade. They look really nice. At least this bow does, anyway. Alright, not much up here. Just a little tense. Alright. Creepy gate. I want to show you guys another th um, part of a mod. I also wanted to do a video on I Need, which is a mod that uh, a little bit more immersive in terms of survival. You have to eat, drink, and rest. And basically, I discovered something. All right, I see. So we're back at the, okay, we're back at the beginning. Oh, so I guess I cleared this. Let's see. Yeah, cleared. Now this is interesting. Okay, let me back up here a little bit because Hmm. When I first came into this this part of the cave, it looked different. And I'm going to say, let me take off my lantern. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was my lantern. Anyway, Divine Interiors actually claims to change the interior depending on the time of day. So for a second there, I don't remember being this, like, misty. So that's something I'm going to keep an eye out for is with Divine Interiors. Uh, the time of day can apparently affect um, what some of the interiors look like. So it's 7.15 p.m. and perhaps if it goes a little bit darker this might... I can't imagine it's going to disappear. But anyway, it seemed a little bit more red but it's because I had my lantern on. So right there, my lantern. But anyway, I want to show you guys with uh, I Need. This is really cool. And it might be something worth downloading I Need just for this little piece here. I don't know if there's any other mods that do this. Basically, I'm going to pull up I Need right here. Now again, you have to eat, drink, and rest to, you know, not necessarily survive, but to keep your attributes up and to not take, you know, a percentage of, of reduction of certain attributes. 
But one of the things that you can do under options is there's this time scale. So you could essentially not use any other part of this mod, like deactivate all the food and drink and rest if you want to, and use this time scale where basically you can set how fast the in-game time passes. So for each minute in real life, X minutes pass in the game. So what that means is, and the default is 20, so that means is for one minute of of uh, our real time, 20 minutes will pass in the game. So essentially, three minutes of real time would be one hour in Skyrim if it's 20. So 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, that's 60 minutes, that's an hour. If you crank it down to eight, one minute in real time is eight minutes in Skyrim. And doing the math, it comes out to about, I think it was like seven, seven and a half, somewhere seven plus minutes of, um, a real time equals an hour. So basically, if you set this at eight, seven minutes of real time would equal an hour in Skyrim, or three minutes in real time would equal an hour in Skyrim, if that makes sense. So you could make your day and night, well, essentially last longer if you set this at eight. Um, the only downfall I saw, and it's actually kind of neat because it just feels like you have a little bit more time to utilize the daylight and maybe, you know, nighttime or whatever. Um, but the one thing that I found is that, you know, it doesn't take necessarily a long time to traverse across Skyrim, um, you know, necessarily on a horse if you're not fast traveling. And, uh, you know, setting it low, for example, it could take a half a day to go through you know, half the land of Skyrim, which may not necessarily be more kind of realistic on a, on a kind of scale. So anyway, so I wanted to highlight those two things. Looks like we've finished Gloomreach, so I can put a little bit of closure to this uh, gameplay regarding Gloomreach. And um, let's head outside and see what awaits us. Rain and mist, you gotta love it. That's a cool looking sky. All right guys, well, thanks for watching the conclusion of Gloom Reach, and check back in for some more gameplay walkthroughs. I'll highlight some more mods and uh, we'll pick a couple of different areas to check out. Take care and thank you for watching.